Hey, hey, it's Mr. Bass. I'm pretty pumped up because I am about to pick up my brand new kayak trailer from On The Water Innovations. I have driven about 950 miles or more to go pick this thing up in North Carolina. And I live in Arkansas. It's over a thousand mile drive one way. But it is worth it to pick up one of Denny's trailers at On The Water Innovation. This guy knows how to build great trailers. And if you're interested in what I think is one of the best kayak trailers on the planet, go check out my previous videos of my tourney light when I went and picked it up. I did a really thorough walk through of it. Then I did another one a couple of years later, kind of as an update to see how long they last and my opinions about it. And now I'm going to pick up a tourney double. In other words, a two-seater or a two-yacker. This kayak trailer will carry two kayaks at once, which is going to be huge because I have buddies that go with me and uh, it's just going to, I'm really excited about it. So about another 45 minutes or an hour I'll be there and uh, we'll get to take a look at it. So this is it, the tourney double. Yeah, that's, that's all you Sheesh. That is pretty. Man. You want me to walk you through it? Heck yeah. Let's right. let's do it. All right, so you got the regular seven pin on here. Yeah. You yep. got a yep. your jack with a wheel. Yep. You will need it for this one. Your turning light was easy. Then yeah. This one will roll around easy, but yeah. it's not going to be like the turning light. Right, right. right. Left and move it. Right. You got your winches. You yeah, I didn't have there. I didn't have winches before. This is new for well, me, that, so that'll, that'll be, be kind of nice. Um, these kayaks are he heavy, man. They yeah, really are. They're really heavy, especially when you load them down with all your crap. So yeah, yeah. And on your DZ box, you do got your rigging light right here. Sweet, and, uh, nice. I don't know which box that is. These are your Yakima box, and then these keys are hanging right here for this one. Okay, sweet. Okay. We'll get back to your paper. Okay. All right. Um, do you have a toy lock on your other one? No. All right, so basically the toy lock is kind of like an air hose. When you pull it and it clicks, that's yep. when it'll lock. When it stops clicking is when it'll go back in. Okay, gotcha. Okay? Nice. So you can run that through scupper plugs. You don't have to come back to here. You can okay. just go up a scupper plug and put it on the other side of the scupper plug. All right, Don't perfect. forget to unhook it. <laughs> All right, I had one guy, he left the hook. Back in the water, the whole thing flipped over. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that's not good. All right, have you had these before? Uh-uh, nope. No? Okay. I had the tubes, the rod tubes. All right, let me walk you through these. All right, so you've got rigging lights in both of them. Oh, yeah. All right. Nice. On um, these, if you're going to be fighting with them, if you're going like this, trying to get your rods in them, hang uh -huh. on the latches. Put okay. Put your rods in, and then clip them back all right but you can put like tackle boxes paddles all kinds of stuff down here yes it's so much better than a rod tube awesome 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 but um when you close it just grab both sides push it down and lock it because it latches here here and here okay they say they're flimsy but i i really like them i like the way they are carpeted bunks yeah got carpet this time On very these, cool don't travel like this because the wind will do this to it and it'll start to fray right here uh -huh. so when you're running empty just uh run it through the hole and then run your hook through it okay just leave them like that they won't get all frayed up right there if you don't have a boat on. okay them. all right perfect got your yep. feathers hopefully okay. yeah. he's intact yes yes hopefully uh, i will I hopefully i will new yeah. video this morning yeah. i was like oh my god yeah no. i broke it but uh that's no big deal okay. i mean you know and they're not that expensive to replace either so no and they're easy to replace. Yeah. that's why yeah. i got away from the metal ones the metal yeah. ones you hit something you got to cut it off the frame at All least right. these you just unbolt and put another one yeah um you know how these work yep. right awesome one of the absolute best yes that, man they, just fantastic yes. I, I love these things. I do too. I do too. Um, reverse lights work the same as your other one with the reverse. Um, it'll come on with your truck. Okay. Yeah. And let's 
see all the lights are the same yep. LED submersible yep the other great thing is these bunks are you know are adjustable so yes. why, uh, why like I, I have a big heavy inflatable and I need wide bunks for that and then on my Hobie Pro Angler I need narrower bunks yeah exactly so, right there yeah. yeah okay so totally adjustable fantastic yeah and you Perfect. got uh your rigging lights right there over your kayaks yes on the sides there yeah right there rigging lights those are great early and morning right tournament here. days yeah. right here's your on off switch for your rigging lights yeah great and, um that's about it awesome awesome i cannot wait uh I think uh, Denny makes some of the very best trailers on the market, hands down. Uh, you know, one thing that I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, Denny, you've been doing this for quite a while now. Maybe you could just talk about overall, you know, whenever someone hears, you know, 4000 5000 6000 bucks for a trailer, they think, holy crap, you know, that, that, but I think so many people don't understand what is the difference between you know a malone trailer that you get delivered in the mail and you bolt together mm -hmm. versus a high quality steel welded frame trailer and just what goes into not just the components but the labor on something like that uh when it comes to the welding and stuff like a lot of people ask us well are you going to do an aluminum trailer or something like that Aluminum welds shear at 10,000 pounds. 10,000 sounds like a lot, but when you hit a bump, you, you wouldn't yeah. imagine how much force you're, you're yeah. putting on stuff. So, no, I'll never build an aluminum trailer. Yes. Steel welds shear at 70,000, and that's a perfect weld. In life, nothing's perfect. So, yeah. if you yeah, get yeah. around to 50 to 70, yeah. that's good. But if you do that with aluminum, you're not doing too good. But we, we check all of our welds, and everything is down to if it doesn't look good, it's not good. Yes. But basically, if you got a weld that doesn't look good, it's it's not good. And a lot of trailer manufacturers, they just pump them right out the door. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we, stuff we like this, stuff like these beads, you know, this is yeah, well, high yeah. quality welding right here. And like we use like really big gussets now, like so none yeah. of this moves. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, actually eighth inch metal on... Uh, on the tubing and we're using 316s on the tongue for uh the doubles and the tourney lights that have boxes on the front of them um well the other and, thing and then there's a there's a lot of little things that people don't see like like these straps these are the, the hydrolyzer straps you can use the little red ones those yeah those are junk or like, yeah like all of our hardware is stainless so it doesn't rust and yeah you can keep taking it on and off and it's not going to be rusting I mean, the straps are a perfect example. You know, I've had my boat for three, I mean, my trailer for almost three years now. And I've had it in the water hundreds and hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had to do anything to them. They're yeah, still, the they're still straps, going great. You put them in the water one yeah. time and they're, they're done. Exactly. Our axles, they're Dexter axles with a, through, through the spindle for, for greasing them up. It's not like a bearing buddy that just packs them in there. It actually goes through the spindle and uh -huh. puts all the grease through your bearings yeah so we use all if we use something and we see it's not that great we, we switch it up for something more expensive so we're always updating our stuff to be the best we want everybody to have the best like i want the best stuff yeah yeah i, I do too and i want everybody else i do to have too the best stuff. well yeah. and, and and you know the the other thing too you know take something like this yakima box i mean these suckers you're just providing this and installing it on the trailer these things are crazy high, yeah, you know. It's almost and, 700 bucks after yeah, taxes. Yeah, 700 bucks for one of these things. Mm -hmm. So it, you've got to have a real purpose for this, but you can't hold that against on-the-water innovations. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's a product that you pay for and you put on here. What I love is you give me the options, fully customizable, so that I can, you can look at my budget and say, dude, you may have to skip on the Acma boxes, mm -hmm. you know, or... Uh, let me explain to you why this, even though it's much more expensive than this rod tube, mm -hmm. all the benefits that you get box versus tube. And, you know, I've had the tubes and the tubes are great. That's definitely a money saver compared to this. But at the same time, the benefits, you know, over time, over four or five years owning a trailer, it starts to become pennies. Yes. You know? And you know? what I do, I do work with people. If they tell me they have a budget for this, I always tell people don't 
downgrade the trailer, downgrade the options. Exactly. If you can't afford the Yakima boxes right now, that's fine, but get the trailer built for them. Yeah, then you can add them later. later. Right. And, or this box. We, we sold a ton of these with, yeah. this, with, the, with this with mesh on it, and then later on they can add a box to it. Heck yeah. So Heck just yeah. delete the bolt-ons. A lot of people buy just the bracket welded on to them yeah. for the toy lock. Same with the wheels. You can go with cheaper wheels. You can yeah, go with, yeah. uh, you know. You, I think there's you can... actually one out here that's, uh, yeah, that, like that turning light over there. He's got it set up for Yakima box, but he'll buy the Yakima box later on. And he's set up for tubes, and he'll just build his own tubes. Right on, right on. So, and, you know, that's kind of the way I started. I was like, you know, I, I'm just going to go with a single here, uh, the turning light. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a few years later, after I know exactly what I want, then now I'm ready to spend the, the bigger money on the double. And I know I'm not going to look back on that. I'm going to be really happy about, about, about having the double now. Okay, I made it home. Let me let me show you here in the uh, garage uh, how she looks. Here she is. I thrown a couple of kayaks on her just to show you what what they look like. Got a Sholey on this side. Got a uh, Hobie Itrex on the other side. But obviously, you can put you can put really big boats on them or light boats and. Uh, Really, really happy with this with this boat. And one thing that I like a lot, I don't know if I mentioned it previously in the video, is how these bunks, they, they bend down so that uh, when you're loading and offloading in the water with the trailer submerged, they, uh, they're real easy to get in and out, which is really nice. And here's my tourney light sitting there with the old Pro Angler on it. Anywho, if you're looking for a kayak trailer as an investment, you know you're into kayak fishing for the long haul, especially if you're a tournament guy. If you're going to travel across the country, these things are just fantastic. They're super durable. They hold up incredibly well. Uh, and they're almost maintenance-free. Obviously, they're not 100%, but really... You can drive many, many, many thousands of miles before you have to start worrying about anything on these things. So uh, I highly recommend any of his trailers, whether it's the the light, the double, and, the, and he's got so many different options for, for the trailers. Go check him out on, on the website. I really think you'll be very, very happy. And you know, it's an investment. Over years and time, as time passes, it just gets cheaper and cheaper, the cost of this thing over the years. You spread the cost out over over multiple years. Anyway, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'd really appreciate it if you'd share this trailer video with some of your kayaking buddies that's looking for a trailer. And uh, until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!